All right, how we doing everybody? It's Keith with Johnson Custom Leather and I got a call today from the wife saying a box was uh, delivered. And I said, well, that's probably my lunch box because I just ordered one on Amazon. And she said, no, but I bet you can't wait till you come home. Little did I know that a pair of Frank's boots were arriving today. And uh, here they are. I'll flip the camera around for y'all in a few minutes or hopefully not even that long and get y'all some better angles. Um, these are the Wilshires that I ordered. These are the dress boot. One of the dress boots that Frank's offers and I really like the style of it. Like said, I had uh, returned um, a pair of Knicks that I bought. They just couldn't get the fit right. Um, and I didn't want to keep messing with that. And I really had my eye on these originally. But once I got my first pair of uh, lineman boots from Frank's and he had the fit perfect, I said, well, there's no point of uh, even trying a different company when the customer service with Frank's and the fit with Frank's was just superior. I went with uh, the Damani Brown, as you can see here, this is the color. And uh, the Christy Lug Sole, I believe is what this is. It's kind of like, or maybe not the Christy Lug, maybe it's called the Mini Vibram or something. I don't have any notes. And then I also wanted this natural uh, leather finish. I didn't want it dyed brown to match the boot. I kind of like how it pops. Um, beautiful boot. I went ahead and laced them up just to give y'all a better idea how they would look. And, uh, yeah, they're just super dope. I mean, I just pulled these out of the box like 10 minutes ago. It's, I don't know, it's probably a little bit after nine o'clock. I just got home from work and I am just super excited. Uh, one thing with Frank's is the attention, the detail is superior I mean, I looked over this boot trying to find a loose stitch, trying to find a stitch out of place. And I mean, the, the level of, the level of precision, I would say that goes into these boots and the, just, I mean, they just mastered their, their craft. You know what I mean? Beautiful embroidery on this Damani Brown. I mean, it really looks good. One thing I really like about the leather that Frank uses is that it's full grain leather so there is character in the leather so if you're looking for a boot that doesn't have any kind of blemishes or maybe like a, a scratch that's from the leather or from a cow getting into a barbed wire fence or something like that full grain leather might not be for you you know because to get that they got to kind of lightly sand it and then put wax and oils to make it look like it's perfect me, I don't like that. I mean, I run a leather business and I like, I love seeing the character in the wallet and everything, you know, but these boots are just, I mean, look at that. Oh, shit. Don't drop my brand new boots. Uh, what's that? One, two, three, four, five layers of stacked leather in the heel. And then this beautiful layer here, nice and thick. I mean, if I had to guess, I'd say that's probably right at a quarter inch thick right there but super dope super nice clean looking boots and uh i thought my lovely wife was gonna pop out here oh she did um super clean looking boots and y'all might uh i might try them on because i realized that I, at all the boot reviews i've done not all, but the couple boot reviews that I've done, I haven't, uh, I haven't tried on the boots. And that was one of the things when I was looking to buy a pair of Franks or any of the handmade boots that I was looking at, I was like, just try the boot on so I can see what it looks like. And I yet to do that myself. So apologies on that. But I think tonight we'll slap them on. I still got my, I still got my work britches on. So it ain't like y'all going to see me in some some fancy jeans or nothing. You got some dirty clothes on, but the boots, I mean, they sell themselves. So let me, uh, let me spin this, spin this around here. I made a video the other day. Some people were asking to 
see uh, the spacing in between the boots or in between my laces on my lineman boots. So I took the video, it was like eight or nine minutes I was at work and I went to go make sure the video before I uploaded it was correct and I was talking through my uh, Bluetooth and I don't know why, but it came up all glitchy and staticky. So I had to delete the video and y'all didn't get to watch it. But uh, the boots that I have, they have about a two, two finger space between the laces or between my speed hooks and everything. Like I said, in the beginning, I tend to lace up my boots a little tight while they're breaking in. Get my foot out of there. Y'all don't need to see that unless you want to. It's kind of weird. But uh, you don't want your laces too tight. You don't, you don't want them too far away. I'm not no boot specialist, but hey, babe. If you look in my lunchbox, there's, some, there's a little uh, plastic tube in there. Mm -hmm. It's got a present in there for you. For me? In yeah. the new lunchbox? No, in the old lunchbox. That's how you do it. Anyways, get these socks up. Like I said, I wear, uh, I wear these over-the-calf darn tough socks. And I think, personally, you know, darn tough makes a damn good sock. and I like them. And they feel good with that cushion, but uh, let me figure out. Maybe I'll put y'all down here on the ground. Y'all can watch the old boot come on. Hopefully y'all can hear this good. Uh, we'll just do, we're just gonna go with it, guys. Like I said, I just wanted to do something because I've got a busy fucking work schedule, or my, my apologies, I got a busy work schedule coming up. And I don't see any uh, any time to be doing anything. I've got Christmas orders for the leather business coming in. And uh, I'm just not going to have any time to, to post on here. One thing I will say, though, is uh, when I lace up my work boots, I utilize the eyelet on the top of the boot. Once I lace up my boots and everything, I like to make sure that they're not going to come undone. So I run them through this eyelet. I'll just do an overhand knot, and then I'll stick them in there, wrap them around the back, and then uh, they stay tight all day. I ain't got to worry about them. I wear them 15, 16 hours a day, and I ain't got to worry about my laces coming undone. And I might not have to trim much off of these once they stretch a little bit. I'll uh, I'll probably have to do a little a little fine trimming, but nothing crazy. I didn't even like lace these up tight enough. I can already tell. But for the purpose of the video, we'll get we'll get it in here. Anyways. I, uh, I called down the Franks, asked a couple of opinions as far as options. You know, I like I like when uh, when I call someone, that's, you know, especially with dealing with Franks, they're super cool and laid back. You know, I feel like when I ask them a question, they're going to give me an honest opinion. So, I, you know, I, I was actually talking to Frank when I ordered these boots, and uh, I was like, well, what – What's your personal preference in leather? And which one do you think looks the best? And which one do you enjoy? What color do you enjoy making the best? And he uh, he didn't give me a definite answer, but he was definitely leaning me towards the uh, Damani Brown. And I, I like that because the uh, it's not too light, it's not too dark. So it'll go well with a pair of, uh, you know, blue jeans or something like that. If you're wearing a blue shirt, black shirt, I feel like you could get away with both, but let me, boom. Look at those. Like I said, these are some loose old work britches, but we looking good. And let's take the first step. Honestly, they, uh, they're, they they don't feel near as bad as I thought they were going to be as far as breaking them in. The um, lineman boots that I got 
Hell, we ain't ready. To, we ain't ready to flip y'all around. The lineman boots I got, man, they were so stiff. I think because they got that big old leather shank. But I can definitely feel a little more flex in the boot. And I think this might be a definitely a little easier break in than what I thought. What I originally thought. This is a softer toe. But you figure, I mean, they say to wear them. Uh, I don't have the sheet. But if it's anything like the other sheet, just wear them as much as you possibly can before you start feeling too much discomfort and then take them off. I wore uh, I wore my lineman boots for a couple hours the first day and then a couple hours the next day. And I was just trying to find reasons to wear them, go places, do stuff, just try to break them in before I start my work week. And uh, by the three days by three days of wearing them i took them to work and yeah they kind of they kind of hurt my foot i ain't gonna lie and i had a second pair but i toughed it out all day second day at work foot was a little sore from it but the third day i could already tell i was getting somewhere and then uh, now they're fully broken in and they're a jam i mean they're they're the bee's knees i actually just uh put some obernoffs on them uh today and they come out looking super nice i like how it darkened them a little bit but if you're on the fence with franks get you a pair of franks you ain't got to take my word for it by no means but i mean son i don't really i don't really go out much i don't know why i bought me a pair of going out boots Actually, I bought two pairs. I got another style coming in. I got the uh, front range coming too. They should be here probably in about a month or so. Hopefully not, but probably about a month or so they'll be here. Maybe more. I don't. I don't really mind. You know, uh, handmade craftsmanship takes time. That smells good. Uh, but beautiful boot. I mean, I can't wait. I can't wait to watch them break in. You know, they're already so comfortable. Just, he nailed it on the first one. So I said, just go with off of the size of my first boot and uh, just have fun with it, you know? And as soon as I drop my foot in there, I mean, the arch support is amazing. The, the heel, once you get used to this high heel, and uh, the arch support, I don't think I could ever go back to a block heel. I've got a pair of Red, uh, Red Wing Iron Rangers, and they are not comfortable. I mean, they are for a, for a short period of time, but far as standing, they're not that comfortable. And Frank made a good point with the high heel to the low heel in a way that I could understand it a little better because um, <clears throat> I don't catch everything everybody says, but he broke it down in a way of saying like a, a high uh, a high stack heel is kind of like putting your payload over the axle. A low block heel is kind of like moving it towards the tailgate. And that's kind of how you, he was meaning is distributing the weight off your hips and your back. So if you're not used to a high block heel, try it out. I mean, it will it will make a difference. You uh, you just feel better when you're walking. You get a little bit better pep in your step if you want to say but frank's boot killed it again and uh i'll be posting updates on this one and then i'll come back in a in a couple days probably a couple weeks off obviously or honestly not obviously if uh if i can and i'll, I'll get them lineman boots out and i'll lace them up for y'all and let you see what i'm talking about on the on the spacing and the laces. Like I said, I like to stay about two fingers width all the way up. That should be, that's for me, that's a good fit and boot. But thanks again, guys. If you like the video, uh, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. If you do, you don't, I don't really care. If you got any questions on the boots, let me know. If I can't answer the question, the obvious, the answer is call Frank or Junior. They're awesome guys, and uh, be American, buy American. So, 